Today we're going to learn the basics of InDesign and make a very simple flyer just to get the hang of some basic skills. You can see the flyer that I've made uh, advertising London. It's not very flashy, it's just to get the hang of how to use InDesign. So to create this flyer, what we're going to do first is click on File, New, Document. And the Document panel will appear. Now you can see at the top there's a menu panel and we can select to make print material or make it for the web or for a mobile device. We're going to be making it for actual print and you can see all the different sizing and margin options on the right hand side. We don't really need to bother with those, we can simply click view all presets and we've got commonly used um, paper sizes so today we're going to go for A4 and um, this size unit, peakers, we don't really use that so we often just use millimeters. You can leave that as it is. You can change the orientation between portrait and landscape um, but we'll leave that as portrait so we just need to select size A4 and then click create and we have a blank page ready to use. Now the first thing I'm going to do is give the page a colored background. To do that I'm going to select the rectangle tool um, on the left hand side of the page. So click the rectangle tool and then drag a box from corner to corner of the page. There we go. Now right now um, the rectangle is blank, there's no colour uh, applied to it. So if we go to the right hand side of the page I'll select the fill colour, I'll double click that and I can choose from the different colour options or if I select none I can use the paint palette tool here, the colour tool, click that and I've got the uh, colour selection option, I can pick anything really that I want. So I'm just going to go for something, um, a, a pale yellow will do. So I'll click, there we go, I've got a pale yellow colour scheme now as my background. What I'm going to do now is add a title to this page. So if I go back to the left hand side, you can see that some of the tools have a little um, arrow or triangle in the very corner. This means that there are other options for this particular tool. So if I click on the type tool, I hold the mouse button down, you can see there's two options. There's type tool and type on a path. I'm going to select the type tool and I'm going to drag a box within the pink border. This is the, the margin of the page, so we're going to work within the pink border. I'm going to create a, a text box and type into it. And the title was Visit London in 2020. Now I'm going to highlight the text, same as you would in Office, um, and I can select a um, font that I like. So I can go for maybe this one, Thonburi or Tahoma, and I can um, change the size by either selecting one of the options or clicking on the up and down arrows to change the size of the text. And I can center it from the paragraph option, align center. I can change the color of the text, right now it's black. I can change the color of the text by clicking on the fill tool here. And again, I can pick from the pre created options or if I select none and then go to the uh, palette tool there I can select the colour, so I'm going to go for something like darkish purple um, and that's given me a purple colour, you can't see it yet because the text is still selected now the stroke colour below, if I double click this, this allows me to add an outline to the text again if I select none I can choose from the uh, different options by just moving the cursor around in the little uh, colour tool. So I'm going to go for something pinkish here. Okay, and then when I'm ready I can click on the selection tool, click anywhere on the page and I've got my title here. Now if we look again at the flyer you can see I've got writing on this slight curve. So how did I do that? To do that click on the pen tool here and then if there are different options and you don't see the exact pen tool, you want the top one, the pen tool, you access that again by holding the mouse button down over the tool until the menu appears. So the pen tool, click once to create the first dot of your line and then 
select where you're going to place the second dot, but don't just click, click and hold the mouse button down, right? Click and hold. And with the mouse button held down, or your trackpad button held down, you can move outward and create this second line, which allows us to, I'm rotating this around by moving the mouse, changing the position and the, the size of the line to adjust the way the curve looks. So I've, I've got you know, a decent symmetrical curve there, I think. So when I'm ready, I can release the mouse button and I've created a curve. Now, before I click anywhere else, I need to go back to the type tool and then hold the mouse button down to open the menu and select type on a path. Now, if I move the cursor over the line that I just created, you can see a small plus um, symbol appears. So when the plus symbol appears, it means that I've selected that line. So I can click on that now and I can type, it doesn't rain as often as you think. And then I can um, highlight the text, just like before, change the font. So what did I use before? I used to Homer, so I'll use that again doesn't really matter what font you use. I'll center it and I'm going to change the size of the text and make sure I've not got any typos. It doesn't rain as often as not add. So I'll change that, fix that. There we go. And I can change the color to, let's say, again, okay, we'll none and change it to the, the like a purplish color, there we go. Oh, I need to highlight it first. Won't work if I don't highlight it. There we go, okay, and that's ready. Now, if I just um, click on the selection tool again, you can see that the, uh, the black line is there and I don't want that black line. So what I'm going to do is with the selection tool, click the black line and the stroke color Double click, none. And I'm going to make the stroke color none. So the fill color and stroke color for the line are set to none. So that should be invisible now. Okay, the last thing to do is um, add some more text and some images. So to do that, what I'm going to do is use the um, frame tool because we're going to put some images into some frames. So these are like picture frames you'd hang on a wall. Um, so the first one I'm going to do is create that long rectangle at the top. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and create that frame here. And then I'm going to create a square again. So you use the rectangle, but you just make a square with it. Next one is the um, ellipse. So this makes a circle. So the ellipse frame tool. So I'll put that one here. doesn't matter if they're not all lined up. I can fix that in a second. And the polygon tool here. There we go. Okay. Now use the selection tool just to so click the selection tool and you can move these around. You can see the green guidelines, the helpers line, everything up a bit more nicely. Okay. Uh, and now I'm going to click on the large rectangle and click file place. Now I need to navigate to the images that I have saved on my computer for use in this flyer. So you should have downloaded these from today's um, lesson notes. Mine have been saved on my desktop uh, in a folder called um, London Flyer and I can select the uh, the large um, landscape view of London so Parliament and London Eye, there we go, there it is. Click open and it applies it there and I can see that um, the image was too big for the, the frame so what I'm going to do here is simply right click go to fitting and then fill frame proportionally and what it does is it resizes. You can try the other options as well. If you go to fitting, um, fit content proportionally, and it fits the whole image in there. So do you know what works for you. But for me, fill frame proportionally. There we go. Okay, next one. Click on the square, file, place, and select whichever image you need. So for me, I think um, it was the uh, the Union Jack, so I'll put the, the flag in there. Okay, um, this one, what was that? It was the London Bridge. So file, 
place London Bridge there we go again it doesn't fit so I'll go fit fra fill frame proportionally um, I might need to resize that slightly so I'll come back to that in a moment and then the last one was the soldiers so file place and then pick the soldiers there we go right so this London Bridge that didn't look perfect so what I'm gonna have to do here is I'll use the um, direct selection tool and I will double click there and what I should be able to do now is manipulate the image inside the frame using the direct selection tool that's the second arrow down in the panel and move that around so you can see there's the image and it's oh, it's actually inside the, the frame so anything any part of the image that's not within the inside of the frame won't be displayed that's why frames are so handy okay now to finish this off I know it's been a long video we're going to add one more text box so click the type tool create one more text box just create it here there we go and I'll use the uh, move tool to move that in place there we go okay now just for the sake of speed if I go back to my London fly the one that I created earlier I'll go and highlight this copy and paste it because I know you don't want to just watch me typing this out and paste that in okay so it's obviously too big for this one at the moment so I'll highlight that and I'll change the size of the font so it all fits all right so let's say size 18 for all of that's too big so there we go okay now I want to add some fill color to this text box so use the selection tool again click on the uh, the actual text box itself fill color um, I can make that let's just say a green for now and then the stroke because I want to add an outline around this box I want to um, create let's say a, a red outline um, you can't see it right now because it's only one pixel wide so I'm going to change the weight by clicking the number here change the weight and you can see the um, color appear around the box okay now the very last thing I want to show you is how to again use this type tool I want to put some um, writing around one of these shapes so I'm gonna make it go around this circle here with the Tower of London inside so again type on a path click so you can see that plus icon has appeared um, and I'm just going to type thanks for watching my guide video you can type any message you want and I'm just gonna make that a little bit larger there we go um, oh I'm adding the stroke color there I don't want to do that what I want to do is change the size of the text okay and then when I'm ready I can click off that um, and there we go I have created a very basic flyer that's given you just a few very simple skills thank you for your patience I know that was a long video I'd like you to create this flyer and save it in your Google Drive and then share it with me please okay um, one last thing obviously you can see all these boxes um, around when we print them out those boxes won't appear if we go to view over print view it shows you exactly what it'll look like when you print it out apart from just a, a couple of guidelines okay and then view over print view to take it off there we go and that's it for today okay end of video